Act. First tonight, a bird's eye view of the damage in Wyoming. This is Pinery Park. Large trees brought down, closing the park for now. The National Weather Service was out looking at just that and confirming the damage was indeed from a tornado. They also looked back at how they did in warning all of us about the potential danger. 24 Hour News 8's Ken Kolker is live for us in Wyoming near 36th Street tonight. Yeah, Leanne, we're uh, in the city of Wyoming. As you can see, the uh, consumer's energy crews are still out here trying to um, restore power in some pockets of the area. Now, earlier today, we spoke with the National Weather Service, which gave itself high marks for tracking the storm as it headed in this direction. The storm popped up near Bangor. This isn't the greatest circulation yet. A mix of blues and green showing wind flow on a computer screen at the National Weather Service office in Grand Rapids. We saw this broad circulation and said, we're going to warn for this. At 1.11 in the afternoon, a thunderstorm warning in Van Buren County with the possibility of small tornadoes. Within 10 minutes after the storm had left behind damage in Bangor, they noticed on their computer what appeared to be debris the work of an F1 tornado with winds of up to 85 miles an hour. That's when we went tornado warning. Also in Van Buren County at 1.21 p.m. Within minutes near Fenville, it blossomed. The race was on, the weather service trying to stay ahead of an unusual and hard to track storm churning 30 miles an hour toward Grand Rapids. And the weather service said it won the race. You know, it was a good day for us. Uh, we had tornado warnings out throughout that entire path. Um, I live in southwest Kent County in the Wyoming area, and my phone was going off probably 20 to 30 minutes before the, you know, the wind moved through Wyoming. In Wyoming, Bob Strebel was watching the Olympics when storm teammate broke in. Not long after that, he heard sirens. He showed the trajectory on the television, and I could see where my house was, and I figured we were ground zero. Minutes later, three big pine trees snapped off and plunged through his roof, crushing their daughter's bedroom. And the fact that the warnings were ahead enough uh, got our attention and we, we went downstairs. If we hadn't been downstairs, it would have been bad. Now, the National Weather Service says a lead time of a half hour should be plenty of time to give give people get people into their basements and get them shelter. They said the average time nationally for tornado warnings is about 10 minutes. Live in Wyoming, Ken Colker, 24 Hour News 8. Certainly great work to them and perhaps part of the reason we had no injuries from this storm. Ken Colker, live for us in Wyoming. Ken, thanks.